Hello, hello, and welcome back, everyone. My name is Kahenke, the game's Pokemon Duel. And I'm, as always, just waking up and trying to make a video here, so excuse, bear with me, I don't know what else to say. But yesterday, after I already made the video, I kind of paid attention, and there was like, poof, newsflash, the grass gym is here! And, uh, <laughs> trust me when I tell you, not only me, but every, every, every other person that I know that plays Pokemon Duel was shocked as hell. So, I went here, I'm like being super sexy and stuff, taking my Magmortar squad to go and play against the enemies. And it was working well. It was, it was working pretty good. I don't have it here. But um, one, one thing that happened is that there were so many Virizion running around like crazy. They would swap spot with me, the turns would go neutral. The 2MP movement figurines, it's really, really hard to get through. And I could not like switch it up with something different because Magmortars are only effective when you have the flame gun available at all times. Meaning you have to have three to cycle them. And you have to have some gold attacks to uh, prevent the enemies from advancing. So I kind of sort of switched up to, uh, a Pokemon into the Trevenant, this purple guy. Tre Trevenant the tree, okay. And it seemed to be OP at the very, very least. On Twitter, I've posted the 11 win streak opening, which I got an EX from. Uh, I got a Agron from it. I'm not sure it's a good Pokemon. I don't think it's a good Pokemon, but at some point it might become relevant in some future gym or whatever. So I'm just going to be keeping it. I also got a Lugia, another Lugia. And from a Rainbow Booster, I popped a Genesect. So it was it was an EX Wednesday, as Reiko called it, which I'm very, very happy about. Not excited, but at the very least happy. As for the time being, I found myself that I have three, uh, <laughs> three, how do you say it? Budget versions of the Verizon and I'm running three fa Phantoms. It's been working nice. I don't know, it, it's, it's, it's okay with the tropical energy the Reuniclus aren't a problem. The uh, Deoxys A isn't a problem. It's been working okay. I cannot say it was great, but I managed to pull out 11 win streaks with uh, with just 10 gems to continue my streak from uh, from 9 to, uh, to 10. And I, I'm pretty happy about that. I don't know what else to add. The gym was unexpected. It was a surprise. So I don't know if we're going to be expecting some more gems in the in the beginning of the next month, or is this going to be it for a while? <clears throat> I'm sorry. But we're going to see the opponent running a full grass and uh, whatever else deck. I'm going to be doing the thing that I've been doing and uh, it's been working for me with the Sceptile uh, towards a blue. I want to roll a blue. Or this. This totally works for me. Uh, to kill off the first mon. Because if I don't kill off, my one entry pole will get sealed. Sceptile is super strong. I can definitely pull that shit up. I don't have a hurdle jump to go uh, over that. But with the uh, with the blue, the stealth hit, I would definitely force them to do something different that they're doing. So we're going to be seeing a Lithian going through. And this is where I'm advancing with phantoms. I want to get to the enemy entry point. I would assume that either he's gonna get to my entry point right about now, and that will uh, force me to go block, because Lithian can jump exactly through that, which will enable me to go block with Sceptile. I'm not too sad about that, because now if my Prinloop, pr 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 Phantom, Prinloop, Phantom, oh my god, the Pokemon. If it goes neutral uh, once or twice, I can win the game just by selling the entry point of the enemy. Uh, so that is like my strategy so far with the hurdle jump. I would just hurdle jump over the the one that would be there That's gonna be Trevenant. I hope he doesn't Roll the mischief. Oh my god. That was so lucky. That was so lucky the confuse ray coming in strong I need to put something more on defense because if he sleeps my uh, septile That is gonna be bad. So I'm gonna be putting This one here on defense I, I cannot just risk it for the Sceptile to be asleep uh, and moved away, so. I could have maybe went for the win right there. Maybe, I don't know. But, uh, 
Hey. Let's so just get here and the turn. Force him to go to the goal, then move to the right a little bit. And maybe force Ace around right away. Okay. I'm gonna be assuming there's gonna be a rollout for the chestnut oh, towards the phantom. Right there to the uh, this one that I moved up. If there isn't a rollout for with the chestnut, I'm gonna take the entry point. And yeah, there is a rollout and an attack. Oh, there isn't an attack. Okay. Okay. So. I'm gonna be moving my tree upwards and attacking the Leafeon. If I can attack the Leafeon and move the tree out of the way, I could start surrounding stuff. Let's go for the double chance. On the Leafeon. I just take the kill, no problem there. I don't want to go towards the Destiny Bond. Destiny Bond has betrayed me quite a few times. So I just take the first favorable matchup that I can and just roll with it. So far, it's been doing okay for me. So what, what is he going to do? Is he going to deploy the, uh, the blast, the whatever this green thing is, the Venusaur, or is he going to lose his Sceptile to his round kill? It could be Hurdle Jump. No one said no to that. And I'm going to be taking the entry right about now. <clears throat> and now I'm going to be trying to get rid of that other Sceptile. It's quite hard to actually, you know, take over everything. But that was not a great move. Because now I have a big chance of just around kill and winning. If one uh, of the Phantoms goes neutral. So he just lost his surround pressure on me and now I'm pressuring him. Ah, my commentary sucks. I'm still not woken up. But this could be just the win right there if, if he doesn't kill me right now. <laughs> that would suck if he did. Oh, it's gonna be neutral and this is a win. Yay. That was a good move, by the way. That was a really good move because... Uh, if he just killed that, he would pressure my goal, nonetheless, and he would win. I would be in a tight spot. But there's still gonna be a surround on my Sceptile. Doesn't matter, because it's my turn. I'm not gonna fuck up. I'm gonna... <coughs> oh my god. <coughs> Am I dying? I'm gonna grab the win right away. And continue on with... How many? 17 I have so far. Everybody is better than me in this gym. Everybody's more prepared, but it's no problem. I'm still getting my wins. I'm still getting uh, Whatever else am I getting? I'm not I'm getting boxes or whatnot <laughs> It's funny. It's I'm getting the rewards. It's so sad that there's no EX cubes in the mix Because the EX cubes are actually the thing that I love the most about those gyms, but I'm pretty um, Concerned is this the gym that it was supposed to air the next week and we're not getting anything, or is this something to keep us occupied bef before they uh, throw something better at us? That is like the one thing that I that I want to know, because throwing in Pokemon new banners every every month that is cool because it's like a pet subscription to uh, oh a fallen a Dalex deck. It's like a pet subscription to a. Um, uh, I don't know, to another game like World of Warcraft or whatnot. But if, if you buy gems once in a while. But for the new banner, if they drop it sooner than once a month and you need to like try and make more gems and more gems, that actually sucks because I, for one, don't want to pay more than once a month for a few uh, hundred gems. For the new banner, that is. So... I'm gonna be going a little bit defensive here. I don't like the Dux, uh, the Dux speed form here. I am gonna be taking <coughs> the time to do the energy in a bit. But I'm gonna be defending with the Sceptile or the Phantom. It doesn't matter honestly because uh, he's gonna be taking the entry point which is fine, quite frankly. I don't mind that. 
So I don't really know what I want to do here. Uh, it's a Dex deck. I'm not really, really scared of those right about now. He doesn't take the entry point, which means he or she is not going to work. And at this specific moment of time, I think it would be great to have that other ghostly power for this round of the uh, of the enemies. That'd be great, don't you think so? So let's go ahead and add the tropical energy right about now and start advancing from there. There was a Cosmo energy, or wasn't there? Well, I, I think it was used. Because my energy wasn't it. Let's go ahead and double chance this and go for it. Yeah, there was a Cosmo energy used, but let's go for it. Let's attack it. Let's swap it up with uh, whatever other Deoxys you might have. It's gonna be an attack form. I have the double chance on. He cannot respin. So I'm not gonna respin either. Just gonna send him away. I just wanted a monster on the field more than I already had before he sealed my floodgates. That's all I wanted. There's gonna be another one coming through. I don't actually mind. I should have started doing the swap spot myself because getting a Pokemon to where Zapdos is is not that hard. And then getting a phantom on the behind of that could actually work. So it's gonna be an extra attack from from a uh, wow. Okay, okay, okay. I I get it. I get where you're from. He's now not uh, under the effect of um, of what do you call it? The uh, Cosmo plate. So, should I just be a dick and surround that Deox? Hey, just, just make him surrender. Forfeit. Or should I just go win? Because if his Deox A rolled something great against my Zapdos, I'm in a tight spot there. But if I surround this one, then kill the other one, I'm in a better, a lot better spot. I'm just gonna be trying that one for now. There's gonna be a Protect towards a Psychic. That is great. I'm gonna be surrounding this one. Right now, and freeing the entry uh, from my Sceptile. I'm advancing with the Sceptile. The Sceptile can go and win in two turns. Uh, or one if I get attacked and roll the blue. Which could also happen any given a moment of time. So, I'll advance with the Zapdos here. I'll let it there. It is not going to be uh, risk spinning either. From the from the Dux A because it is a flying type and tropical energy is working out right about now. So I'm just gonna be going here. So I can deploy a little bit more of my squad on the field. I want more Pokemon. What don't you understand? If he does hurdle jump right about here, I'm get I'm guessing I'm gonna just go balls deep and attack his goal. Or maybe free the entry from the Shuppet. That could also work for me. Uh, he has a hurdle jump. He has a hurdle jump. Does, does he want to use it? That's the real question there. Does he want to use it? Okay, we'll see. We'll see. No problems here yet. Come on, buddy. What are you thinking about? Are you are you like mastering a muster plan or is it gonna happen? Okay, he wants to do something very nasty there. I don't know what it is yet, but I'm probably not gonna like it. So the next turn I surround the Dux uh, speed form. With the Phantom Energy plate, it would be killed off from the duel. But I don't have that, so it will have to do just a plain surround. There we go, see you later, alligator. And maybe even attack this one, just for the tiny bonus that I can get. Okay, it's gonna be a little wish towards a protect neutral turn. <clears throat> no biggie there. What can happen? He can deploy this Dog's defense form, which doesn't actually scare me at all. Because I'm gonna go for this around on the Dog's A. 
if he doesn't keep on attacking. I would assume he would attack the Zapdos. That is like the best uh, chance he has for this right about now. But I will still be taking the entry point, even if he rolls the Psycho Boost. Which isn't... Uh, oh, it's even gonna be better, wow. Super good, super good stuff right there. And now I think I'm in a really good footing towards winning this game. I don't think the Shuppet can do anything where he stands towards my phantoms. The miss is still there, but I don't think Shuppet is anywhere as lucky to do anything there, but uh, okay. There's gonna be a protect towards a counter. I am gonna hurdle jump that. And I don't, oh, I don't have a hurdle jump. Holy smoke, oh my God, that, that sucked now. Now that sucked. I gave him a chance to put another monster on the field. But now the dog's defense form is not a uh, affected by the Cosmo Energy Plate. You see what I'm taking it? It's not affected by it, so when I t attack it with the Zabdos or anything else that has the gold, Zabdos has the best gold, it is not gonna be able to swap spots because of the Tropical Energy. No, because, sorry, I, I lie, because of the Phantom's passive. Okay, give me the blue. Oh my god, I'm gonna lose, I'm gonna lose it by the counter, oh my god. So sad. But uh, what I meant, it's Phantom's passive, it's any Pokemon it fights uh, with, uh, is not uh, affected by the plate's abilities or whatever. So, okay. It's gonna be an attack on this guy. It's gonna be Psycho Barrier. It's not, doesn't matter. He now gave up the position that I uh, feared him for the surround. Now he needs to move two Pokemon in order to be able to surround this Phantom. And I only need to move one to win. That's why I wasn't moving it closer and was like trying with the Sceptile or whatnot. Now you attack or not, it doesn't matter. If I go neutral, I win. It's gonna be a neutral turn. I'm gonna be surrounding and winning a Dux deck. Dux decks are now like <laughs> the, 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 the bullied boy in the, in the schoolyard. The bullies that getting bullied, it's the karma feels so good. If you've been in the channel long enough, you've probably watched the Dux week. Uh, winning over Dux's squads before all the counters came in. Now we see, we see a lot of variations. People use, as you can see, birds. They use phantoms. They use trevenants. A lot of different Pokemon that are very, very nice in the current meta. Dauxes are still strong, no problems there, but in the gym, they're, they're irrelevant, honestly. That was a really easy, easy win. We grab ourselves to win. I'm not gonna go further because I don't have the enough energy and uh, it still needs like 10 minutes to fulfill. So let's just tap this one, see what we get. Okay, that's not bad. A bunch of uncommons. But it's, it's quite fun. Uh, if you notice here, let's go to the gym once more. If you notice here, I'm on rank 120, but everyone, everyone else that plays, and I know his top rankings, like Care Bear, number two, Sky, I played Sky by the way, Pop, 12, everybody in the top, top 10 list. Whereas I even seen Fodder somewhere here. Fodder, what are you? Did I miss you? Fodder was also top 20 for a while. It's like only I was left. Uh, wait, I think he's somewhere up here and I missed him. Fodder. No? Was I wrong? I don't know. Fodder, there we go. Number 12. He climbing up like crazy. Look at this deck. If only I had a couple of Burizians. I don't have one. one or a couple, so that's that. It's quite sad, but it still works. I don't mind. This guy here though, look at this. Ray and Nicholas with level 10 chain level. What the fuck even? <laughs> quite, quite fun. Care Bear, new account with three Virusians. How, how can you even 
What? <laughs> pretty, pretty cool stuff right there. I'm really proud of you. I'm really, really proud of you. That's super cool. I hope I climb a little bit higher myself. I really want the 11 streak to go some more. I have right about uh, how many? <clears throat> 18 wins. So I'm one, two wins away from the booster ticket and about seven wins away from the free Gyarados. I already have a Gyarados, so I'm not into the Gyarados so much since there's no EX cubes. Uh, it's not very interesting for me, but hey, free boosters. Let's just pop this one just because we're here. Booster popping. That's gonna be an uncommon. I didn't expect anything better. Honestly, but hey, hey. So, as for today, this episode goes to an end. Hopefully, you're doing great in that uh, unexpected gym. And hopefully, you're grabbing yourself a million victories. As for me, as always, have a nice day.